and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Is It Storm combo in ranked. We're going to be playing this in best of three. Uh, this is Ral Storm Conduit combo, not Thousand Year Storm combo. If you were uh, wanting Thousand Year Storm, I'm sorry about that. Uh, but what the combo is with our deck is we need Ral Storm Conduit in play. And it doesn't, you don't have to do plus or minus, like those don't matter. You just have to be in play because of the uh, passive ability that every time you cast or copy an instant or sorcery, you do one damage to the opponent. And then you need you need uh, any, any spell that costs uh, four or less on the stack, either you cast or your opponent cast, doesn't matter. Oh, sorry, more specific, any instant or sorcery spell on the stack that costs four or less so that you can expansion and copy that spell but then you need a second expansion to continually copy your first expansion and you can keep on doing that over and over you keep copying the copy and you get a new copy of the of the copy card you just keep on doing that infinitely and each time that you do that you deal one damage to the opponent so you do infinite damage to the opponent so basically you need you need row and play and then you need double expansion that's that's how it works um <clears throat> for the most part, our deck plays kind of like an Is It Flash deck, trying to play to a later game to get that that scenario set up. We have our cheap interaction, Dragon Fire Shock, Bone Crusher Giant, you know, even Brazen Bar we're bouncing. Um, and you know, just kind of play to a longer game. New cards, we got Storm's Wrath, gives us a wrath in the main deck, which is nice. Thassa's intervention allows us to dig and try to find more copies of expansion or row of course gadwick refills the hand and then yeah we can just set up our combo earliest we can kill people is turn five of course playing row on turn four and then double you know combo on turn five that can happen um because you know like we can cast like opt plus expansion plus expansion for example um, so yeah, let's, let's give this a try. Uh, I did, you know, to be able to fit Storm's Wrath and Thassa's Intervention in here, I did cut a Borrower, did cut a Shock. Um, hopefully that doesn't hurt us too bad. Um, so here we go. We'll play either four or five matches over in Ranked, depending on how long the games take. Uh, we don't yet in Cyclobel. I hope we get that soon. That'd be really nice. No, you cannot combo with Ral minus and one expansion. Because there has to be something on the stack. You can't just cast expansion. Like when you Ral minus two then your next card because then the next thing you'd have to cast after the minus two would be the expansion and, and it's just not possible to have something on the stack and then row minus two because you can't do the planeswalker abilities at instant speed so it, it's just not possible hmm I don't want to just keep this, actually. Yeah, I'll just keep it. I'll just kind of make my life easier of just always having untapped lands. I don't know, maybe, yeah, I'm not sure, QQ. Maybe I, I have CBL now, I don't know. That'd be nice. Uh, this song is Headstrong by Trapped.
So they cast Light Up the Stage. Do I want to copy Light Up the Stage with an expansion? No. Uh, I wasn't going to counter it. Could copy it with my expansion. Just gonna make this a draw two. Just play a poor man's chemistry's insight. You could minus two, hope your opponent casts a spell to copy, but that... Yeah, you'd have to minus two, and then let the minus two resolve. Pass, Then do something to pass priority to your opponent, like skipping phases, and then hope they cast something. I don't, yeah. <laughs> Doesn't seem like that would really work. What is this? Underworld Rage Hound. Two mana, three, one attacks each turn if able. And has escape. It did take a lot of damage. I'm down to nine, but I feel pretty safe with all these cards in hand. That thing has haste. Gotta get rid of that. I'll right, we'll keep this. <clears throat> We're probably going to have to dragon fire this rage hound. To just keep it keep it in the underworld. That is a pretty cool escape animation. Want Bow Crusher Giant? Not really. Hey, Paul. Well, I have double expansion. So all I need to kill them is a Ral now. We have the castle to look for Rel. Well, 
Those are lands. We'll get rid of those. That'll do. All right, all we gotta do is stay alive, not take lethal. I guess does Embercleave kill me? Yeah, Embercleave kills me. Oh, come on. Uh, got punished for drawing six cards. Could have drawn, you know, four cards. Kept up, try to draw removal spell. Wow. The only card that killed me, but I mean, I guess I didn't need to draw six. Boo. So coil, dragon fire, a couple more storms wraths. Ugh. Coming back from a long break from magic, what are the handful of best decks? And standard to build slash watch out for. Right now, the extremes, like we're we're at like the beginning of the format. There's mid range hasn't really uh, materialized too much. the The decks on the extremes are are really what a lot of people play, like mono red aggro, the really fast aggro, uh, simic ramp, and just ramping really hard, and then uh, blue white control. Not sure what I want to take out. I guess negate ionize. I'll play one ionize. One ionize, one intervention. No, I wouldn't say this combo is really too much of a thing in other formats. Huh. Yeah, then Wilderness Reclamation, which is kind of like the combo ramp deck. <clears throat> Team Reclamation of the format. Basically, the combo deck of the format. So I'd rather kill Steamkin than a Fervent Champion. They didn't play Steamkin though. No lands. Of course, getting the third blue. I'm gonna play the Rowl. Opponent's playing pretty slow. Taking like the same amount of time. <clears throat> um, 
Um, Let's see what you got. Not sure if Simic Flash got a whole lot of upgrades in Theros. I mean, I really like Thrix as a card, but I don't think people are really playing Thrix in the deck. But I think Thrix is strong and underrated. My experiments are mostly successful, except for that one. The blue intervention in for Simic Flash. Yeah, you could go with that. That's a card I'm lower on than a lot of people. And but it, yeah, I can definitely see playing it. Well, that was unpleasant. Yeah, they have there's yeah, there's a three mana creature that's like a two two that whenever you play a spell on your opponent's turn you draw a card. But it's not it's not really good enough or constructed for how small of a body and expensive it is. <clears throat> cool. Definitely take that uh, six life gain from Ral. Uh, I like that brazen borrower. Basically, just get to, you know, basically just turning that Gadwick into a six mana draw three. I think that's that's good enough, especially how we're just trying to finish this game out quickly, and we didn't have any other tools in hand to do that. <laughs> There's some irony with Ral acting as a massive lightning rod for all those shocks. That's a good one there. All right, we'll have Ral wins the game. Taps down the creature. Always nice to get out of the lab. Good job, Ral. Maybe we don't need four Storms Rats. Maybe three Storm's Wraths, two Negate. I don't know. I'm on the draw. I probably should be playing the Storm's Wraths. Maybe I just don't play Brazen Borrower. And just play an extra Storm's Wrath. Just play some more Counter Magic, basically. I guess Aether Gust is a card. I don't really love Aether Gust here, though. I think I'd rather have like Negate, I and I, stuff like that to try to counter Ember Cleave, but I guess, yeah, I'm just gonna have Negate Ionize. We don't have, yeah, I, don't, I can't bounce Cleave once it's in play now with taking out Borrower and not playing Aether Gust. I'm fine with that. <clears throat> I 
think my trick for cleave is going to be trying to ooh. I don't like that. Anyway, he's going to be trying to just kill their creatures. <clears throat> no opt for you. Don't even want to give my opponent the option of casting my card. Hmm. That was a good turn for them. Yeah, they have skewer also, even better. Could have killed Steamkin previously. All right, no, no land for Storm's Wrath, but they would have gotten a lot of tokens anyway. Be a good time for a land. No. What? It doesn't stop first main phase? Doesn't just auto stop first main phase, I guess. Now they have Ember Cleave, they get to play it. Yeah, I guess I have to set a stop. I thought I thought they changed that though, because like it was like that originally, but then they changed it where you're with War Boss, you didn't have to set a stop anymore, but I guess in some recent update, it's gone back to where you have to set a stop again now. But I remember, like, after Guilds of Ravnica was out, that was, like, a point of contention, because a lot of people, more people played War Boss, and they wanted to change that. So the previous update changed that. Well, that that obviously really hurt me. That this this other thing's dealt a ton of damage. Yeah, I mean that killed me. Not having that stop. So that's a really crappy way to to lose. Yeah, I didn't keep the land because I thought I was just going to be going to be dying. Kind of, if I if I just played the land and passed, I thought I was going to be dying. I didn't like because at that point I would be going down to two. I didn't like my chances being at two for the rest of the game, so I put the land down to the bottom. But yeah, yeah, I had no idea that that's that uh, changed. That's unfortunate. We lost to, you know, like the top deck of the only card they could top deck is Ember Cleave, the first game, and then that second game, we lost because of that stop. It's too bad.
Hey, Rotian. Thanks for the reset. been in some crazy matches. I mean, it's definitely not Wrath or Bust because if if I just try to play a Wrath, they're gonna make the Bronze Hide Bronze Hide Lion indestructible, and then I lose. It's just playing only Bone Crusher Giant. Either way, doesn't do enough. How we can only use one mode there with four mana. Here, intervention. Nope. I need that to make them use it and grab like a brazen borrower. Um. Hmm. Don't think I played. Yeah, you know, like I w kind of wish I didn't play that temple right away. The temple scribed that borrower down to the bottom, and then it turned out I needed borrower really bad. And of course, I played into that that God's willing trick poorly as well. Stasis Stas intervention is not any good. So much mana. It's been a card that has not looked good in my hand any of these games. Too much mana. Do I want to get rid of negate? I'll get rid of these Storm's Wraths. Maybe more Negate. Less Storm's Wrath. Okay. Let's 
good if you have a lot of mana. I mean, you can also just play Gadwick. I think I'd rather just have Gadwick draw a whole lot of cards if, if I have a lot of mana than get two cards. Definitely a much better hand for me, and I'm more prepared for what my opponent's doing. I did not play too well against what they had going on last game. Yeah, I could see playing one Niv this matchup. We'll kind of see what, what what all they got. I mean, you know, like they're not playing instants and sorceries too much themselves for triggering Niv, but it does, from what we've seen, not a lot of removal. So it looks like they're trying to set up A Vigilant Hexproof Paradise Druid that attacks for a lot would be my guess. Do they have lifelink? No. Yeah, I got to counter that season of growth, but it means I didn't have anything for an in for an uh, a vigilance enchantment. Hexproof and indestructible. Considering ether gusting my own e bone crusher giant and putting it back on top. But I'm just going to play another bone crusher giant instead. It is. It does. I guess I need to word read this a little better. You're you're right. So it does say if if it's an enchanted creature, it also gains hexproof and indestructible. So I could have gusted the training, and then it's not a hexproof. Then it's not an enchanted creature anymore, and then it would lose those abilities. So yes, that was an option that I could have done. The shocks go upstairs, so even though this does three and shocks deal two, I'm gonna just dragon. I'm gonna dragon fire this thing. Uh, 
And they can give this protection from either blue or red, whichever one they do, I'll attack with the other. Hey, cheer up's going good. How are you doing? So I said pro red. Let's attack with blue. Yeah, I don't I can't really think of anything that they're going to have to have them survive this. I can either gust the bone, you know they play like a couple creatures. I can either gust the bone crusher giant put it back on top and I have shock shock bone crusher. But I'll just either go as the, the bronze eye giant. <laughs> that looks kind of silly. The enchantment in the middle tapped. Guess I may need Storm's Wrath. With that being their plan. I'll just play one instead of a Rel. Okay. Haven't been doing much combo in. That card's good. I just have one Swift Water Cliffs in here to help with the you know, triple blue with Gadwick and all the early red spells. Using the thing that costs <clears throat> two mana. But 
they just have a pile of one twos. So I'm not too scared. Yeah. That was definitely the worst card in their deck, that one two flyer. From playing against it, that was definitely the worst card in the deck. I think they could probably do something better than play that card. Alright, so we're one and one. How do we ever cast this card? Deck's broken. Two mana win. For team or Reclamation, what would you take out against a mono white life gain? Um... I don't, yeah, I don't know exactly what's in Team of Reclamation, but I, and I guess, like, if you're playing, like, Nyssa, take that out, because you want, you want more sweepers, you want more, you know, you want all your, your red sweepers. This is a Naya deck. Um, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't take out too much. Like, I, I would think that would be a pretty good matchup for you. So I, I wouldn't take out very much. I don't, I don't really see how the Mono White Life gain deck is defeating uh, Team of Reclamation and, um, with regularity. <laughs> hey, what's up, Soda? Naya, Giants and Giant Killers. Frank. Oh, no, it's Francis. There we go, Francis. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub there, Francis. Welcome to the channel. Hey, Vitalius. Games are going good. That's up 25. MGG bot is one ahead. They've double counted one of them. Oh, man. I'm so sorry, Vitalius. That's rough, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, really sorry to hear that. So bounce a Knight of Autumn at end step. Which I guess I don't really have What does this do? So this counters it unless they'll pay four. I guess this could maybe counter Knight of Autumn. Well, I'll just draw a card. Okay, good. You'll find something better. Good to hear.
cast the opt on their turn. Tap down the Knight of Autumn. No, I don't I don't think Ethereal Absolution is probably worth playing. An Esper Hero. Oh, it's not making it easy on me though. Rather a mountain than that. Guagar, uh, let's see. Guagavra. Hmm. Guag, Guag Gavra. We'll go with that. <laughs> Thanks to Twitch Prime Sub. Another brand new Twitch Prime Sub. Y'all are awesome. Thank you. Okay. So I need to. What? Dragonfire the Innkeeper, Dragonfire the Giant Killer. Play Brazen Borrower on their turn to tap something. Because, like, if I wait. If I wait, then they get to, um, I guess I should play Temple. I changed, changed plans. If, if I wait, they get to tap with Giant Killer. Don't like that. Change plans, decide just to kill this thing also, even though it'll put me down to three. Just gonna dragon fire all this stuff. Get rid of it all. Well, they can't attack with the tapped creature. It doesn't matter if it has trample. But it did uh, use my expansion explosion. The three damage with Gadwick's probably not too important. <clears throat> All right, we got one expansion back. One, two, 
One, two, three. So obviously I'm casting this. This. So I don't get to do anything else with playing Borrower next turn to tap the Bone Crusher Giant. I guess I should be attacking with Gadwick. I need them to drop. I don't know what I need. I need. I need them to play an instant or sorcery before they attack. <laughs> Probably isn't very likely. I'd like them to play any spell before they attack. Ugh. They're not. I guess I could just play giant and try to block. I guess I could have done that. Ooh, good thing I didn't. I would have died. Giant killer would have killed me. coming your way well I'm just I've just had to waste all of my expansion explosions looks like I should have been attacking for earlier damage now Probably could have done like another like nine or twelve damage with this Gadwick. Which could have made a difference. I'm sure hope they don't have a haste creature. If I had one more mana, I'd be able to opt and have Ionize. <sighs> Do have Ace Creature. Oh, wait. I can do this. And tap that. Figured it out. Figured it out. <laughs> I was like, counter it. <laughs> you ever wonder why hurricanes? Y'all are over there panicking. Ones?
God, it looks pretty good. They draw the burn spell to kill me. No. All right, that was that was kind of stressful. So let's get more storms, wraths, less intervention. Step one. Step two, ether gust. Um. Yeah, close at one. Uh, ether gust, take out the gate. Um. I kind of want to play a Nivmas it. Not a ton of blue spells for Gadwick. I just took out blue spells. Don't need Rel yet. The scry to the bottom and then shuffle. You know, it's always kind of awkward. So I guess I have to try to kill all the 1-1s one -ones to keep this Love Struck Beast from attacking me. Probably isn't the most difficult thing in the world. Hey, show me your kitties. Thank you so much there, kitties. So I just came from watching on YouTube. I miss seeing the records next to the desk because it helps determine what I want to watch. Maybe the records in the video description if, if it's not too much trouble. Could you do that also? If you... If you want as well, like if you're, you know, if you're going to click over to like the video description, or you can um, just head over to the, you can just, you know, like click on the end of the video where I do like the, the recap and, and see what the record is. Is that, like, how does that sound? Like click on the video, click like the end. You know, if you want the the spoiler. So it's number twenty seven. Yuck. There's no reason not to play Rao that last turn, by the way. Should have definitely played Rao. A symphony, and I am a great conductor. Good. 
good. No Ember Cleave. Yeah, I wonder yeah. what that shock's about. Not as good as me, but. Okay, so like the last upload of the day in the description of the last upload of the day have the have all the results. I can I can do that. You know, have like a spoiler in the last video of the day. Okay. There's a whole bunch of Storm's Wraths. Always nice to get out of the lab. The forces of nature can show us many things. I'm going to keep that on top. Could get punished by keeping that on top. No creature? Sweet. Okay. They're just flooded out again. Speed dragons, no question. All right, well, we got some good scries. What? What is this? No, the haste. What do I have? We can deal with that. I have nothing. I have one extra ether gust. That's it. Because even like Bone Crusher Giant to block doesn't work with Ember Cleave. So I have one other ether gust. This experiment has shocking repercussions. I'm going to do three, not two, because I'm assuming I'm going to draw an untapped land out of six cards. Uh, 
which I did. That's a good game. I'm down to two. Close. If I just don't... No, because if I would have scarred... Oh, no! Ugh. I'm not... I'm not taking that win. I'm not taking that win. All right, so got to be worried about shifting ceratops. Let's get an extra lava coil in here. Yeah, an extra lava coil over a dragon fire. Hmm. Let's see. It's a favorite Thorin movie. All right, here we go. Yeah, opponent's deck's cool. They've I've flooded and stuff. They they should have won that game. Giving them that. Should've won that. I to not keep my, I could have done better by not, I could have kept my Ral alive or just even around better earlier on in the game. All right, scrying. Pain hurts. It all built up to this. <clears throat> so they have that plus questing beast. Yep. All right. Well. Works out pretty well. <laughs> Thanks, social gamer. So this is it's kind of rough. This is likely, you know, they keep the white mana available. Likely going to be saving uh, the questing beast again.
Actually, you know what? I'm, I'm not going to Storm's Wrath. Probably just thinking too much about this. And needed to... Uh... Need to just cast the Storm's Wrath that other turn and just let them pick the Questing Beast back up. Yeah, I should have just done that. This is just... Yep. Not too much about that one. Really should have cast that Storm's Wrath. I was just overthinking it way too much. Really needed to cast that. Stomp plus Storm's Wrath does not wipe the board. Storm Wrath, copy Storm Wrath with expansion would wipe the board if they don't have the thing to bounce, but they definitely have the thing to bounce. They absolutely have the thing to bounce. Oh, because Stomp says the damage can't be prevented. Right.
Can't beat an Embercleave. really needed to cast that storm so basically i so i knew that they had the that thing to put the card back in their hands but like if so i should have but i should have just let them put it back into their hand then they have the questing beast that attacks the next turn but my play like they still had that bone crusher out that was attacking for the four damage my play was not good i overthought that too much Overthought that too much. So one and two. So what are we playing against? It's good to know what we're playing against before we start doing all this scrying. All right, control deck. Hey, Borderland Ranger. <laughs> Your greatest Selesnia correction. Creation yet. The Arcbow Knights of the Henge Circle who conquer death. Looks pretty sweet. Yeah, that looks pretty sweet. Ah, uh, yes. Sub number 29. MTG bots one ahead. It, MTG bot double counted. An earlier sub. Okay. No, I am not making this up as I go. Yeah. Yeah, Arcbow does work pretty well there with Elspeth Conquer's death. Give you some reanimation. That is pretty sweet. Storm's Wrath's not really a, a great card for this matchup, so, you know, getting it, you know, trading it for a counter spell is not bad. Not a bad trade. Don't worry. I got this. With counter spells, of course, being pretty valuable. Yeah, I can't cannot combo off with Teferi in play. But 
to be fair, you can't really play magic with Teferi in play. So it's not really any different. This Castle Arden Veil is a huge problem, though. That's not a huge problem, but it's a problem. I'll protect you. All right, we'll be casting these Thassa's Interventions. Yeah, I got, uh, yeah, I need to do the channel point stuff. Yeah, that's something I need to get on. Cause yeah, that's something that's not, I thought it was something that was like just for like December, I've got January and it's, you know, it's not. Shock in the second blue, most likely absorb. Not sure if I um, hit a land drop there. I don't think I did. No, I didn't. That's not good. Oh, hey, Max. Yeah, GG's. Yeah, that was a good match we just had. Don't really want them taking Thought Erasure land, honestly. I don't want them taking the Atreus. Yeah, absolutely. Borderland Ranger, absolutely. Oh, what am I doing? I meant to expansion that. Uh, that was my plan the whole time was expansion the Thought Ranger. Boo.
send the sun from the heavens, Heliod. Courage will bloom in all who seek justice. <clears throat> well, that's unfortunate. Really wanted to expansion that thought erasure. Kind of a weird play by them. I guess they want to get cards out of their hand for their Black Castle. I really have just not played this league very well. Just all these games. Every problem has a solution. But start by taking you out of the equation. Just have not. What's not to love? I'm brilliant, handsome, and totally electrifying. All right, have a good night, crazy support. Yeah, I basically wish I could do have a do-over on like all of these games. So they can just keep on recasting Elspeth. Do my best to support you. We're obviously just gonna be losing this game. Don't don't have any chance of, of winning it. Expansion that thought erasure from earlier. Could just keep wasting their time. They're at like, you know, 21 minutes. Could just keep on doing that.
I don't know. Do I need to play Brazen Borrower to bounce? To fairy. Bone Crusher Giant didn't look so good. Basically, Dragonfire Giant Borrower. None of those cards looked that great. Not sure what. Yeah, like how many of each one I want to take out. I guess Dragonfire Exiles, like the Planeswalkers. Which that could be pretty pretty nice exiling the Planeswalkers, honestly. Just take out all those. No, Thassa's Intervention is not good. Is it? There's no way that card's good. So, I'd rather play one of these things. Oh, I guess not. All right. All right, time to come back. Wow, BTK. Our 30th sub of the day. Thank you so much there, Wild BTK. Hit another sub goal. We are basically at another 12 hour stream here soon. Basically, use the negate because it's two mana instead of dispute, which is one mana. And also, dispute can counter Dream Trawler. Many cards left. But that does mean with not having many cards left means that we can play the draw go game for a longer amount of time. Counter that so they take the two damage from the Iron Eyes. Yep, uh, reckless and unpredictable. My experiments are mostly successful, except for that one. I'm gonna keep the island in hand. Maybe they're scared of another dispute. Maybe they cast like a, another thought erasure or something. Certainly hoping they don't have an Elspeth Conquers Death. Which I guess that's made Niv Mizzet worse. That card, Elspeth's, Elspeth Conquers Death. I mean, same thing. Just exile. Below, 
Ashiok also has made him as a worse. Basically, any instant or sorcery spell would be a good draw. I guess don't really need a counter spell. Any non-counter spell, instant or sorcery. Scorching Dragonfire would be nice. Exact Expansion Explosion would be nice. Ow. Good aim. Okay, Expansion Explosion. <laughs> There's plenty more where that came from. Yeah, like the budget decks. Um, if you if you want to know the scores, just type exclamation point score. I took the scores off of of here, so for those for, for the people that want to watch them on YouTube, don't have like the spoilers on there. But if you want to know the the score, you just type that. If you want to know the records. All right, they're at eight. Even the gods cannot escape my wrath. Courage will bloom in all who seek justice. Let's keep getting these lands out of here. Draw more lands. Yeah, any of the if you want to see any of the lists, they're there on the Stream Decker page. You can also see the replays of the other decks on YouTube already. They're up there, and the YouTube video has a link to the deck list um, in the info in the info information. Listen to my whistle. You finally beat Final Fantasy VII. Good job, Cell. You said you had to, you had to cheat though. What'd you? How'd you have to cheat with Final Fantasy VII? All right, 13 lands out here. So there's 12 lands left. Yeah, we need gas, so we don't need lands. I guess I could do an upkeep stop and scry. I'd still have five mana left, even with the scry two. Close to killing them, not quite.
Like an opt would kill him. Expansion. He made infinite items, use Chocobo Breeding Shortcut. Because you... Oh. Okay, so I'm not that close to killing them now. Uh, okay, so there's some options on Xbox One. Gives you the option of not having random battles and speeds up the game. Times three, gotcha. Well, that... Oath of Kai was a really good card for them to have. Oh no! If I play the mountain, another Ashiok bounce would be problematic. That's they probably don't have another Ashiok bounce though, right? Because they would have they would have already they would have done that that last turn. I don't know, maybe not. I, the reason to, to play the land is if they play an instant or sorcery, then maybe we top deck, like, ionize and get to play it. Which I guess isn't a, a huge... Um, a huge likelihood of happening. I want them just, you know, they just play Elspeth, I win. So we'll, I'll, I'll have lethal next turn. Okay, good. I guess they could gain five life. What happens if they gain five life? 16? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I mean, this This does four. This Yeah, if I would have attacked them, I would have definitely died to just the Elspeth. The minus the minus one of the Elspeth. You are braver than you know. Good. They did not gain five. If they would have gained five life, they could have stayed alive. Well, maybe not after drawing the shock. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's true. If they gained five, I would have just, yeah, just gotten rid of all their stuff. Storm's Wrath did look pretty good there if they're, you know, with the Elspeth plan, but so did Dragonfire. Dragonfire can exile Elspeth. Hey, Smug. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Let's play another Dragonfire over a Shock. Play one Storm's Wrath over a Ral. And the other Storm's Wrath in four. The 25th land. Hmm. We're on the draw. Let's go 24 with the Ops. All right, we'll do that. <laughs> Todd just found a bug. If you spam enough clicks on their face, they just explode like the critters in Warcraft 3. Oh, so that's sub 31.
Need more blue mana. I'm not really mulliganing uh, uh, dis mystical dispute. That's a good draw. It's a blue land. All right, have a good night, Kendis. Yeah, I, I haven't heard myself when they're adding the Theros lands to Arena. I don't know if anybody else has. I haven't. I'm going to be firing off Thassa's Intervention to draw two. I play like Ral or Gadwick and they just go counter it, untap Ashiok. That's rough, but I, I don't have a counter spell for Ashiok anyway, but I can kind of pretend like I do. No, I think the next set is like I think I don't think there's a Theros block. I think I think Theros is just a one set standalone thing. The next set um is I think a new place. It's like a place with a lot of giants, I think. Beat me. Just try it. I am really into current affairs. Get it? Because current electricity. Never mind. It's a Vivian themed set. What's it called? It's like Esperia or something like that. Ugh, there's the Ashiok. Creeping, thieving frost. Hmm. I guess I need to play Nivmas it. It all built up to this. Ikoria. That's the name. Lair of Behemoths. So the plane is a lair? Yeah, there's not really blocks anymore. Like basically they they can do blocks. I remember. Pain hurts.
Hmm. Let's go back to ninjas. So you'll be able to create your own behemoths. Hmm. Is that going to be like... That kind of sounds like the first Theros with like monstrosity and with the enchantment creatures that were... What was, what was that... What was that mechanic called? The enchantment creatures that turned into, you know, like they they enchanted the creature, and then whenever they the creature died, then they just turned into creatures on their own. Bestow. That's right. That's what that was called. Bestow. That sounds like building your own behemoth or creating your own behemoth. That's what that sounds like, the bestow. No, not my expansion explosion. Oh gosh, those are all good cards. I did the one damage to the Ashok just in case that Storm's Wrath got countered. So what was that last card they weren't playing? Was that another Ashiok? I have less than nine minutes. You ever wonder why hurricanes don't have two eyes? I'm gonna play this Gadwick. Cool. Yeah, that was a long, long match there. All right, so we just finished uh, two and two. But the deck felt pretty strong. Storm's Wrath, a good upgrade. Um, yeah, like that, that two and two, I think could have been uh, like, even though we went two and two, I think that really could have been a four Oh, if I would have played better or, uh, you know, like that, that first match that we lost was, you know, kind of frustrating with the, where I only lost the top deck Ember cleave and they top decked Ember cleave. And, you know, we had them like they were dead next turn, the next turn. Um, and any other draw step doesn't, you know, like any other draw, that was the game one. But I, I could have Gadwicked for less and still prevented that. So I, you know, so I messed that up. Um, and then uh, I left them that out. And then the game three was, uh, I don't remember. I, I remember making some mistake. We got stuck on lands and I made a mistake. And then the, our other loss, um, yeah, the game three, I, I really needed to just play the Storm's Wrath. I, I made mistakes in that game, too. So both of our losses were me making some mistakes, or I think they were definitely winnable, that we could have gone 4-0 with the deck. It, it felt pretty strong. I, I liked the Storm's Wrath edition. Um, yeah, like this. So the, the, deck felt, the deck felt strong. So it was a 2-2 that could have been better if I would have made some different decisions there. All right, we got two donation decks to play up next. Um, 
and uh, there we go. Let's let's go ahead and move on to those. Uh, so if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed the the uh, the deck, and you know, leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck. Uh, maybe we should just be calling this like it's not like the combo basically never happens, uh, <laughs> as you saw with those games. Should maybe just be calling it like is it storm? You know, it's it's Ral Storm Conduit. If I call it that, it could just be is it conduit i guess um but yeah we basically never never got to combo all right but thank you so much for watching some is it storm combo and i will see you for the next video